Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Making spirits sing. These aren't your normal Christmas carols. Oh, fracking, 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 let's make it go away. The lyrics change to deliver an anti-fracking message, something the governor once said he'd fight for. It's been close to a year since he has said anything about it. Armed with 20,000 petitions asking the governor to deliver a frack-free Christmas, environmental groups say Governor Ron DeSantis has turned his back on a campaign promise. And this lack of action, combined with DEP's recent actions allowing a Texas oil company to drill for oil in the Apalachicola River Basin is absolutely disgraceful. There were early signs of hope. In his inaugural address, DeSantis vowed to be an advocate for the environment. And we will never, ever quit. He followed up with an executive order directing state environmental agencies to lobby for a fracking ban. Last year, a fracking ban was proposed and made it further through the legislative process than ever before, but it failed to cross the finish line. So far, there isn't much indication that a ban would fare better in 2020. We've not had those conversations with the with the governor. Um, I am certainly not opposed to uh, senators working on that particular issue as they have in the past. This year's proposed ban has cleared one Senate committee, but hasn't moved in the House. Without an endorsement from the governor, its future remains uncertain. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.